ओके विच डिस्क्राइबिंग इज एवरी यूनिक क्वालिटी सो हाउ मेनी नेम्स टोटल नाइनटी नाइन नेम्स यस विच एक्सप्रेस एंड डिस्क्राइब द एक्सिलेंट क्वालिटीज ऑफ अलग अलमाइटी आर कॉल डिस्क्रिप्टिव नेम एज वी डिस्कस अबाउट डानिश एग्जाम्पल द हाफ इज एंड कारी आर द डिस्क्रिप्टिव नेम ऑफ डानिश बिकॉज ही इज डिस्क्राइबिंग दिस क्वालिटीज ओके What we call these names? We have a specific name to describe these names of Allah the Almighty. And what we call to those names? Asmaul Husna. Okay? These are also known as Asmaul Husna. What we call to the name of Allah the Almighty? Remember, students, what we call Asmaul Husna. Okay? Which means what it means? Which means the beautiful names. What is mean by Asmaul Husna? It means the beautiful names. Okay? to come down in the holy quran allah the almighty says what he says in the holy quran the most beautiful names belongs to allah okay the most beautiful name belongs to allah so call on him by them okay allah the almighty says in the holy quran that the most beautiful names belong to allah yes so he said that you have to call me from those name okay now come here students do you know the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a person who memorizes all the 99 names how many names the allah almighty have yes 99 names so if someone memorizes the whole 99 names so what will happen to that person if he memorizes the 99 names of allah will go to heaven okay Where will he go? The person who learned or memorized the whole ninety-nine names, he will go to heaven. Okay. So what we have learned about? We have learned another mighty three names today. Okay. That is the provider, the person. Sorry, the Allah, the Almighty is the provider and sustainer to all universe. And what about the merciful? He is the power and he is very merciful. Okay. So we call him merciful. Okay. The all powerful, the Allah the Almighty, having all power over all the things. So we call him powerful. Okay, what about this? As no one knows. I have told you that these all name of Allah the Almighty. We give a specific name to those names. How many names are there? There are ninety nine names. And a specific name for that name is As no one knows. Yes. So this is all about today's class. And yes, now come to the copywork. What we have done in the last class, I have told you that you have to maintain two different pages in your copy. One is for first name, and second is for your topic name. And you know very well the topic name is the beautiful name of Allah the Almighty. So I hope you have made the title page. Now on the very next page, you have to maintain date, day, and class for your title talk. Okay, as you do before. Okay. So now you have to maintain the page for question answer. So today we are going to do question answer. So let's read it. Okay. The question number one is how many descriptive names are there of Allah the Almighty? We have learned, students, how many names? There are ninety nine descriptive name of Allah the Almighty. How many names? There are Ninety nine descriptive names of Allah the Almighty. Okay. Now let's move to question number two. What is the reason that Allah the Almighty has so many names? What is the reason that Allah the Almighty has so many names? Why I have told you because every unique quality is expressed by a unique and different name. Every quality and every characteristic is expressed by a unique and different name. We have to study Allah the Almighty having a numerous qualities, and in order to describe that numerous qualities, we have names. So, for these qualities, we are having name to express these qualities. So, let's move to question number three. What is question number three? Who is called Hafiz? I have told you that who is called Hafiz? A person who memorizes the Holy Quran. 
is called Hafiz. Remember the example of Danish? He is called Hafiz because because student because he has memorized the Holy Quran. He has memorized the Holy Quran. It means he has learned the Holy Quran. So that's why we are calling him Hafiz. Okay. So what is the meaning of Hafiz or who? For, for uh, from whom to be called Hafiz? The person who has memorized, who has memorized the Holy Quran is called Hafiz. Yes. And what about question number four? Who is called Kali? Remember the same example of Danish. We have learned that Danish is also called by the name of Kari because why? Because the person who reads the Holy Quran very well with Kirat is called Kari. The Danish is also having a very beautiful Kirat or he can recite the Holy Quran in a very well manner and very good Kirat. Okay? So we are calling him Kari. So who is called Kari? A person who reads the Holy Quran very well with Kirat is called Kari. Okay? Now move towards question number 5. What are the descriptive name of Allah and the Almighty God? Today we have learned this. What are the descriptive name of Allah and the Almighty God? There is a specific name and that is Asmaul Husna. Okay, remember it. What are the descriptive name of Allah and the Almighty God? Asmaul Husna. Okay, now move towards question number 6. What does descriptive mean names mean? Now, what does mean by these descriptive names? Those names which express one's excellent qualities are called descriptive names. Okay, those names which express one's excellent qualities are called descriptive names. It means that quality which is described by a specific name it called descriptive name. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to maintain your copies with the question answer at the right.